Welcome viewers to Soft Demi, a project control and engineering software academy. Today I am going to discuss with you about how to fix out of sequence activities in Primavera P6, how to resolve, how to detect Primavera P6 out of sequence activities. So here we will go. We have a project and this project there are a lot of out of sequence activities I have just created because uh, to show you some examples. So here I will go and I will apply for schedule and now i will go here and see view log when we go for the view log we will see here in the bottom out of the sequence activities critical activities and go above we'll find out out of sequence activities are 36 in number so this is the list of out of sequence activities so you can detect i have detected here and how you can filter it and how can you resolve it. So here we go, our video started now. So guys, we will just go and find out the 36 activities and resolve it easily. And what is the easy method to resolve that one? The first method you can just search these activities and remove their relevant out of sequence. So how will you know that what are the out of sequence activities in your schedule and what are their conditions and what are their cases? There are a lot of method. I will tell you a simple method. I will go here in Primavera P6. I will just go here and export the file, export that file into XLS. That is an Excel format and activity relationship. I will export that one export click that one next and i will just go here and for the resource i will open that resource i will modify and in your case maybe you have already a uh, resource here in resource there are some additional predecessor activity ids you don't need that one you just need to add some uh, typical columns that i have just added here you can see that one predecessor successor relationship type predecessor activity status and successor activity status to know about how what are the cells or what are the options you required to get exported for xls file go for the desktop i have a file here in the desktop and that desktop file have a p6 out of sequence tool that tool have been given in the link of this video uh, you can see in the description and click that uh, link you can download that link from there so this column i needed in the sequence like predecessor success relationship type and this is activity status predecessor successor status and activity name then successor name and then delete row so i don't need any additional column than that one so no don't need primary resource and a lot of these columns i will go here okay press okay go for the next one next and this one will be pasted on desktop i needed that one on desktop i will finish that one close when we close and minimize this one and we will see on the desktop a file have been created from this excel double click the file and you will see your activity relationship have been exported so whatever what task was we were looking for out of sequence activities. I will just go here, click all the activities from here. Do we need activity name here? I think I don't think so. We do, uh, do, do need activity name here. Maybe activity name is uh, not uh, a big deal. We will just select all these activities and control C for the copy and paste in the our out of sequence tool and just click here and paste that one. When we paste that one, you will see all the activities have been pasted here. And here is a button for P6 out of sequence fixer tool. You will just click this one and here you will make, it is saying make sure that you have copied all mentioned columns to get the right solution as follows. Predecessor, successor, relationship type, predecessor activity status, successor status, lag, predecessor activity name, successor activity name. I will press yes. When we press yes, you will see a lot of this detail. Did you remember when I have created my log? So here were 36 number of activities. So we will just calculate is there are 36 number of activities here. It is showing that there are not 36 number of activities. It's showing it's there are 40 number of activities. 
maybe there is uh, some calculation error so we can resolve it there is no uh, not a big deal in that case so uh, here we will go here we will see the cases there are four type of cases in the first case if your predecessor is not started and successor is in progress what you will do you will just remove uh, that relationship and change that one to start to start if there is soft uh, then inverse that one and assign that one to st start to start and finish to finish you can read that one description when you will get that video or when you will get that file so in the second case the activity will be not started and completed you just remove the relationship if there are open ended then assign new relationship in in the second case in the third case if your activity relationship type is finished to finish and finish to start and activity in predecessor is in progress and in successor it is completed status then you need to assign successor ss and uh, an inverse successor to be predecessor uh, if you need it okay also for the case 4 in if the activity is in progress and successor successor is also in progress so this case is fourth case you just need to change the uh, activity uh, relationship to ss so it will be easy to be re resolved so here we will go for the case 1 it's written here you need to delete all this one in the case in case 1 you can see here all also in this case these all activities are reverse here you can see 100 and 1560 id number you can see here here it is it go for the reverse inverse and relationship assigned to start to start in the first case first for the dd i have entered dd suggestion for that one dd entered to delete that one it's written here in suggestion solution first of all delete this relationship you can read here to whole delete this row to delete the row there is option d when you write here d the row will be deleted also added new relationship with inverse 1560 to 1550 like this one so all this relationship i can count here in the case 1 you can see here in the case 1 this is a case 1 16 count so this 16 count have been you can see in below this 16 count have been inverse in with start to start relationship as it is written above also if it is hard logic it's written here option 2 if it is hard logic you can read here you can also assign finish to finish with it also so in the second case you can see here you can read in the second case here in the second case you just need to only delete this one if there is open ended you can assign this activity this selected activity a new relationship if you needed for any uh, new critical path in the third case you can see here the total number of seven activities in third case in progress and completed activities predecessor and this one is successor so you can just delete this one ddd and then the same number as the same number as seven and you just change that one seven into you can see here these are new seven and if are this new seven you can see here reverse inverse into start to start can you see inverse start to start start to start inverse all the relationship goes for inverse also for the uh, case fours also same nine number of activities in progress in progress in the case 4 also you can see here uh, in this case no inverse required just change that one to start to start so this is all how uh, this remover have been done i will just go here and copy this activities from here and i will just copy this one and paste that the file which we have just exported which we have just exported we will open that file this one the file which we have exported i will just delete all these relationship and now i will paste there copy this one and now paste this one here we go we can see all these columns have been pasted now what we will do i will just go and right click here and paste the value only there are a lot of colors to the value don't worry about the colors the color do not will be disturb just select these activities and convert that one into text i will just go here again and convert that one into text select all convert that one to text so do not need to change their colors just copy and paste here control s save and now close the file
when you will close the file also this one minimize and i will go here open my primavera p6 import that one and xlsx and then go here next and i will import from the desktop that file that file is this one next and activity relationship and we will update existing and select the project which we want to update for existing next finish Let's see schedule now we will view the log when we will view the log go here you can see here out of sequence activities are now zero before that one there were 36 you can see here before that one it was 36 now you can see here there are zero there are some the log error because some info uh, errors but you can see here in the log i have removed all my out of sequence so in this project there is no out of sequence you can see in the detail here there is zero out of sequence left so this is my today's content how to fix out of sequence activities in primary v6 how to remove and how to resolve out of sequence activities and how to trace and filter in primavera p6 you can use by excel and my generator my resolver you can say any any name i have given the name to the file as a p6 out of sequence fixer tool thanks for watching software demo if you have any question you can text us on our whatsapp number that have been given at the end of this video also you can visit our website www.softedemy.com we will meet in the next video.